Hello, and welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today I have a very special edition for you. It is a closet tour. This is not going to be a closet purge or try on. It's just a tour of my closet, how I organize things, and then show you what I have in here so hopefully you guys can help me when I do my unboxings and my shopping hauls. You can say, Carolyn, you need that, or Carolyn, you have something like that already, or Carolyn, stop shopping, you got enough. <laughs> Um, so I will show you exactly how I organize things and exactly um, where I think I have some holes in my closet and hopefully you can either help me fill those holes or give me some other suggestions of things that I might need. So I'm going to start from um, this side of the closet over here on the top working my way down over to this side. My closet is a walk-in and it's a Eight, approximately eight by eight and I do share it with my husband so give me a minute and I'll start my try on uh, start my demonstration okay first up I'm on a stepping stool that I keep behind my door in my closet I am using I have a, a like a California closet system if you guys don't have something similar I highly recommend it we've had this close to uh, 17 years now and it has been a great investment for us I do not regret one day the money I spent on this um, so the, the top shelf are things I don't use very often the very left Tupperware box is uh, an ugly Christmas sweater that a former boss required all of his employees to wear one year so that's in there along with some t-shirts my daughter has fundraisers to school um, and you have to buy a t-shirt that's what's in that Tupperware so I rarely use these Tupperwares on top I could put these in even another closet and free up space up here for other things but for right now it's in my closet the second Tupperware are just my summer pajamas. It has gotten cold here in New Jersey and I do switch out my pajama drawer. These are all shorts and t-shirts and I now have the fleece. The next two boxes are summer purses. Uh, again, we don't need any light colored purses right now. So those are the next two Tupperwares. That last Tupperware is a pair of, is my running shorts. So again, it's, I don't need any kind of shorts or tanks right now. And then the very last thing, not in a Tupperware, these are some very thick, heavy, not too attractive fleeces sweatshirts that if I had to go outside and do yard work or shovel snow or something of that nature, I have something just to keep me warm and bundled up. They're not very attractive. Um, some cheap Old Navy, and I think one is for my daughter's uh, fundraiser at school uh, sweatshirt. All right, here are my winter sweaters. I have two shells of winter sweaters. Okay, as you can see, I have a zebra, a light blue, a pink, um, the top leopard, which I recently got from my JB Style box. Below that, you'll see something mint green poking out. It's mint green, dark green, and ivory color block. And bottom, which you can't see below that, is a poncho of it's cream with navy and red and gray. Then you can see a, a multicolored tweed sweater, a lavender sweater, and a light pink sweater. Bottom row to the left. I have one, two, three, four, five, six different sweaters in tans and beiges and creams. <laughs> so I think I have enough there. Next to that are all my black sweaters, and I probably have the same amount of black sweaters. Then I have a purple, a gray, um, and that is, below that is a teal sweater. And then the next is a brown and black tweedy kind of sweater. This last pile of sweaters I call fall sweaters. They're either three-quarter length or um, even sleeveless, like with a, a turtleneck. Uh, they're a little bit chilly to wear now, unless, of course, I'm wearing a blazer to wear with them. Okay? So those are my sweaters. That Those are all my winter sweaters. I don't have any more winter sweaters than these. All right, going to my top shelf. These are my summer sweaters, summer or spring. So I'm not wearing these now, so that's why they're on my top shelf. They're either sleeveless or halter style, um, you know, short sleeve. Maybe there's like some like like thin white one on top there that's a three-quarter sleeve. The shelf below that is, um, these are my whopping four sweatshirts on the right-hand side. One's top one's from Old Navy. The next one is from a Stitch Fix. The one below that is from Macy's. And the last one is one I got a couple years ago at Loft. It's in red. All right, to the left 
are my sweat jackets. Now I do have two more sweat jackets that are downstairs in my laundry room because I wear them back and forth to the gym. One is that recent pink one I got from Stitch Fix and the other one is one from my gym that I've gotten years ago. Um, so you see I have the pink snakeskin one, a uh, zip up jack sweat jacket, and below that is a white one from Old Navy from very, very long time ago. I'm talking about like 15 or so years ago. So in my mind, what I think that I need in my wardrobe are probably more zip up sweatshirts, all right, sweat jackets, uh, sweatshirts, maybe a brightly colored regular sweater, because you saw all my sweaters, they're pretty all basic neutrals. And you'll see in black with the leopard print on top, that is my one lonely pair of joggers. All right, so I think I could use more joggers. I think maybe I can use another sweatshirt, maybe one or two more sweat jackets, and maybe a brightly colored sweater. This last shelf is my I wear to the gym. So you'll see in the middle a stack of black leggings. They're all black Old Navy leggings. Almost all of them are um, capri length. To the right, you'll see a gray thing and below that a black thing folded up. Those are my outside dry fit tees for their long sleeve. And to the left in the brightly more colored pile, there are my short sleeve dry fit tees that I wear to the gym. So the, the right is I only have two of them and they're for outside running. To the left is uh, what I use for the gym. Okay, moving on. Here are my dresses, all right? You can see I actually have more space if I wanted to get more dresses. So in here, this is the longest, the tallest rack I have. I have to keep my dresses on this rack, otherwise they would drag on the floor. So in here, I mostly have over here are things that I would not wear to work. Like this is a romper and not a dress and a sleeveless jumpsuit I wouldn't want, probably would not wear to work. So probably from here to here are all my not wearing to work dresses. Now I'm not sure if I'm going back to work or not. It sounds to me like they're reducing our office capacity and I'll probably only be in the office one day a week. Um, and they're like permanently reducing capacity, not just for COVID. Uh, but they just found that they can reduce capacity and still get the same output, so why pay the real estate? My next bunch of dresses right here are what I would wear to work, but as you can see, they're very light in color and very thin. They're almost all uh, spring and summer dresses. My fall and winter dresses are over in this section. I only own one sweater dress. The rest of them are more fallish and thinner material. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I can use a sweater dress to add to this collection. I only have one sweater dress and it's in black, but I, as you can see, I don't have much in the way to wear in the winter time and dresses and maybe one or two sweater dresses might be nice. Okay. Then here come my pants. So this area, it's not very big, um, but it houses quite a few pairs of pants, mostly in neutral colors, as you can see. So pretty much over here are all my black pants. In this rack here are mostly my gray pants, all right? Here are my olive and tan pants, all right? In this pile are my, my blue colored pants. <laughs> and this pile right here are all my leggings, or yeah, my, my black leggings. And then over here are some more like ponte knit pants that I can wear. Um, well, some I can wear to work and some I cannot. And then right here are my, my, my summer pants, these last two racks, okay? Then over here I have all my skirts. So I honestly, I don't think I can use any more pants. I think I have enough in the way of pants. Um, as far as skirts go, I think I also have enough in skirts. So I, I have three racks of skirts. I have three different kinds of denim skirts, white, dark, and light. Um, I have a faux suede skirt. I got this, this bright pink uh, eyelid skirt. So, I mean, I think I have enough skirts. Mostly what I wear to work are pants and a blouse. That seems to me my standard attire, all right? Now I'm going to move on to this side of the closet, all right? And this rack down here is all mine. These are my short sleeve or sleeveless blouses, all right? And I do them in color order, all right? This section, this one right here is just the one um, sequence top I have, but I have a white eyelet, and this is a uh, white blouse, another white blouse, 
And some of these you wouldn't wear to, I would not wear to work. For example, this is a little boho blouse. It's not something I would wear to work. I have the sleeveless white vest. I have a polka dot. I have the black and white stripe. Um, I have this camisole. So as you can see, it goes, and I'm not gonna go through every single one, but I will show you some of the colors so you can get an idea. And you can see most of them is prints. I have very few in the way of solids here. All right, and my here is my one lone leopard print blouse. It's again, this is the short sleeve and sleeveless. Most of them are prints, most of them are um, floral. Like this is a solid right here. This is a lavender snake print. I have a dark gray snake print. And uh, like I said, one, one stripe, the rest floral, very few in the way of solids. All right, over here are my black ones, but even the black, here's like a, um, like a, a window pane. Here is a solid black. Here's another floral. Here's, here's a polka dot. So as you can see, it's, it's mostly print, not that much in the way of solids. That said, I think I, I have enough. I don't think there's anything that really screams, Carolyn, you have an empty space there. You have a missing color or something. Um, you let me know. Now I'm going to come over here my long sleeve blouses, okay? And again, I think I have enough. I've got blue. I got the, the fake leather. I got like this dusty orchid my navy and again i do have quite a bit of solids here but i also have quite a bit of floral floral or scroll work and some paisley so over here to the right you'll see the lighter colors and those are mostly my summer blouses even though these are long and three-quarter sleeve they're still summery and in this area here are the more things that i wear in the winter okay and last our second to last is down below these are what I call my third layer, okay? Um, they're everything from jackets and vests, all right, uh, and blazers, and cardigans. What is in here are my outdoor sweaters and vests, so that would be too much to put in here. But these are things that I would wear inside in any room, all right? And I have from light, a lot, a lot of neutrals you'll see. I have lights and tans and grays and blacks and navies. And over here I do have some color, but I don't have much other way in the color. So... I'm thinking I could probably use <clears throat> maybe like a, a, a mustard, uh, an olive, and, uh, you know, I recently got a pink, so I'm good on pink, I think, right now. All right. Next up are my shoes, and I'm going to go from top to bottom. Top are my uh, rain boots, which I never wear. Next to that, snow boots, which I almost never wear. In the Tupperware is a pair of what I call wedding shoes, which, you know, I'll wear them on a very formal event. And below that is just a pair of spare sneakers that I got from an outlet. All right, top row are my sandals, more sandals, more sandals, and my flip-flops, all right? I do know I need a pair of black flip-flops. I have white, brown, beige, silver, and then white ones that I wear to the beach. Now look at this. I got open real estate here, people. I can put stuff in there, so... Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what you think I might be missing in here. All right. Come down here. Here are starting my boots and my very few pairs of pumps. Um, I really have a difficult time wearing pumps. The peep toe ones for whatever or slingback are actually easier for me to walk in than a regular pump. I don't know why. Um, but here are my boots. I've gotten the funky boots, my snake boots, my tan boots. Um, these are peep toe boots down here, and here's some more pumps, not much. Here are more boots. I got the brown, I got the taupe, I got the navy, I got the burgundy, I got brown, I got gray, I got leopard. And then down here are all my tall boots, okay? Um, I have my black, my brown, my tan, uh, another pair of black, they're healed, and um, another pair of tan there in the corner. And then over here behind the door, I have over the knee boots, which are too high to put on any shelf. Down below over here, I have um, my only pair of like sneakers, which I don't include, I don't consider them athletic sneakers. They're a pair of white Adidas. And then I have a pa spare pair of running shoes and like a pair of yucky shoes to wear if I have to go outside, do something. 
And over here, technically, they were my daughter's shoes in the Tupperware. They're two pairs of Converse that she blew out in, in size too quickly, so I took them over. Um, and I really don't wear those. Um, that's pretty much my closet. I didn't show you where I hide my belts. I have a little belt rack right here, and that's where my belts are. And as far as my accessories, I don't have much in the way of that. I have maybe like six scarves, and those are my necklaces. Um, I keep my earrings separate. And I really don't wear bracelets that much, to be honest with you. So earrings and necklaces, and this is the necklace section. Um, I'm hoping for my birthday to get one of those cabinets where I can store my necklaces a little bit better. Some of these I don't even wear. They're kind of like family things that are given to me, and I kind of feel bad to get rid of them. So maybe I have like five necklaces that I wear regularly. Okay, and that is it. That is my closet. What did you think? Do you think there's things that I can add to this? Do you think I um, have enough? Do you think there's things like, God, she didn't go over, she had but da da Let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Okay? Um, give me a few minutes. I will show you my draws, um, but there's nothing really exciting. In uh, going over the footage, I realized I didn't go over my jeans. My jeans are actually hiding underneath my long sleeve blouses, all right? It's, it's really sickening in how much I have. These are all my blue jeans. In the middle are all my color jeans, cargos, corduroys. And I know you can't see many of these, but I have like probably over 30 pairs. And over here to the right are like my white jeans, my light color jeans, things that I would wear in the spring or summer. So that's kind of why I didn't go over my jeans with you. you. Really can't see them that well, but I wanted to let you know, yes, I do have jeans. They are here and they're hiding underneath my blouses. Okay, here is one of my dressers. There's five drawers to the dresser and the five, top five, three drawers out of the five are mine. The first one houses my underwears and bras and sports bras. The second one, all right, I'll quickly show it to you, but I don't feel like unpacking are just shorts and t-shirts, okay? So just plain like cotton tees or cotton blended tees and, and shorts are in this draw, okay? The next draw, so this is the third and my last draw, look at all this real estate I got in here, all right? So over to the right is a stitch fix top that I kept out of my daughter's fix, her one and only fix, that she didn't like anything. So I kept it just to basically save the money. And below that is a top that I got from that mix, mix and match clearance sale that I really didn't like, but I'm keeping. Um, I'll wear it at some point. And over here are the knit tops that were all my recent purchases. Everything from uh, South Moon Under to a lot of Ever Eve and a couple down there that are stitch fix. Okay. And this pile are just my plain basic tees, long sleeve tees that I gotten from uh, Target. They're pretty much all from Target. Just plain solid tees for layering. And that is it for this. Next is this dresser. I house the top three drawers and the bottom right drawer. So the bottom right drawer is just my pajamas. The top right drawer is all my swimwear. The middle drawer is all my camis. And the left drawer is all my socks. Uh, and that's it. And that is my entire wardrobe, except for outerwear. I don't own anything else. So let me know what you think. Um, is, are, do I have gaps? Do you see anything immediately? Would you like me to review specific sections of my closet so you can get an understanding better, so you can help me pick and choose when I open my boxes as to what I need and what I don't? All right, thank you again for returning subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you uh, haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. It's free to you. And, you know, we just hang out and talk fashion. Take care. Until next time.